Hi everyone, this is Bonita from Pennies to Dollars and I would like to share with you some inspirational tips today regarding saving money and cutting expenses. Uh, this is my channel, Pennies to Dollars, and we share tips on how to cut expenses, cut costs, live frugally, and this is how I put six children through college by myself with a four-year degree, and so I'm hoping some of these inspirational ideas will help you stay motivated today. Uh, it's not about how much you make, it's about how much you keep. So a lot of my tips have to do with how to save money that you're already getting or how to add to that money in small ways to see big results. You need to stay focused on the things that you want. It's kind of like losing weight. Um, if you can stay focused on the big picture, it helps you stay motivated. And if you can see where you're losing weight a little bit at a time, it helps you stay motivated. So if you can see how you're saving money or how you're able to pay down your expenses a little bit and see how that grows, it helps you stay motivated. So let's move on to another tip. One of my tips is to use up things that you already have. Sometimes you don't even realize that you still have these things. I ran across an entire drawer full of candles that I didn't even remember having and they were very old. And I've been buying candles and I've been asking for candles for gifts for Christmas and for my birthday because I love candles and I thought I was completely out. Well, by the time I ran across these, they were so old that the wick wouldn't even stay lit. So I wasted all of these candles that I would have really liked to have burned and was getting more candles. And so if you can use up meat in your freezer or anything like this, go through the things that you have, see what you already have, see what you can use and use those things first before spending any more money. Remember why you're doing this. Focus on that long end goal and try to remember why you are doing this and it helps you stay motivated. Look at things in your area to do for fun that are cheap. We did a lot of things like this with the kids growing up and they didn't miss anything. We went on vacations. We went to local events that didn't cost anything to get in. We had picnics. We went to the park. We went to the library for reading time. Uh, we went to the pool. I would buy a summer pass and we would go to the pool and this was something we could do all summer and it cost about $100 for us for a family of eight. So, you know, look at these things that you can do for cheap. Our vacations, we would pack a tent. We would pack sandwiches. If we ran out of food along the way, we'd buy things for more sandwiches, hot dogs to cook out, marshmallows. And the only thing that we had to pay for was gas. And so um, we were able to, you know, if it rained, we had a big van and we just slept in the van that night. We were able to have a good time. Everybody had a wonderful time getting out of the house and getting to see things they didn't normally see. But I ordered trip magazines. And if you go in the um, online, you can look up every state in the United States and there is an 800 number or there is an online application form where you can send for their trip magazines for free. And they will mail you all these pamphlets and the trip magazines and you can go through them and you can see what things are free. You can map out your route <clears throat> excuse me, you can map out your route and you can plan some really fun, cheap vacations so that you don't feel like you're missing anything. This was something that we always looked forward to. Um, but I hope that some of these tips have been helpful to you today. If you found value in this channel, please click the subscribe button so you can follow along for other great tips. And I would be glad to see your comments on how you save money in small ways that make big results. Have a great day. And remember, if you take care of your pennies, your dollars will take care of themselves.